What's up everybody? This is going to be part two of my flea market pickup video. And um, let's just go ahead and jump into this. If you haven't seen part one, check it out. I've got some shout outs on it. And uh, some really cool bot Super Nintendo games. So um, let's go ahead and jump right into part two. Um, I got some free games from the guy that I usually buy from at the flea market. Uh, he really appreciated my business. I'm always there. And um, I just, I get along with the guy really well. And uh, I've always bought from him. And he's always did uh, good by me with his prices and stuff. And uh, he said, man, thanks for uh, your support, you know, and always coming by and buying from me. Uh, here's a bag of mixed games. Just pick two out uh, and take them for free. The, so they're loose. I don't have cases for them. But um, they were free. And it's, the first one I got was All-Star Baseball 2003. Uh, it's a baseball game. I like baseball games. And it was free. Enough said. Uh, next, this was the only game he had that wasn't a sports title. And that's Dead to Rights on PlayStation 2. I'm sure a lot of people remember this. So um, I picked this up as well, loose. Um... Next, let's go ahead and get into the main part of what I got today. Um, I got a boxed NES game. And uh, it's not the best condition box, but it's still boxed and it was only $4. And that is the Secret Scroll Flying Dragon. And uh, it looks pretty interesting. I honestly can't tell you a whole lot about it. But uh, it was boxed. And it was four dollars, and I grabbed it when I saw it. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm trying to collect these as much as I can now. So um, I wish it was in better condition, but you know, not a whole lot you can do. Um, it does have the little foam inside. It's got some writing on it. Uh, I don't know if it was from a rental store or what. It's got the same N333 on it. I should be able to get that off. So, uh, it was only $4, though, and uh, this would have sold for $4.99 at uh, G2K, the closest video game store that I can go to that sells retro stuff, so not too bad. Next, I got some uh, Genesis games. Let's start with these. Uh, I just grabbed these at G2K uh, as I was going to the flea market. I always stop in when I get a chance to head down towards the G2K store, and uh, it was NHL 96, it is uh, complete, and uh, I'm trying to get, you know, as big a collection as possible, that means picking up every game, uh, whether it be sports or not, but uh, hockey games were pretty fun, so um, I actually don't mind picking those up, and in NHL 94, I didn't have 94 or 96. Is that what that was? Yeah, 96. So, um, this one is complete. Uh, it's a very thick booklet. I mean, that is just a massive uh, instruction booklet. I don't know why it's so big. And uh, Just some different stuff inside. FIFA, International Soccer. But uh, the game itself is in there. It's in good shape good condition so uh, yeah it, it, I was really surprised this is a heavy box um, it's not like any other uh, Sega box game I've ever uh, picked up before this one's really heavy it's like a, it's almost a little novel inside of there um, next for uh, six dollars I picked up world heroes for the Sega and uh, it's a little bit of damage to the top of the box right there, but um, really cool. Got the manual and the game. I don't understand the deal with some of these manuals. They look photocopied when they come black and white. You have to let me know if these are photocopied or not. I got I know a bunch of games and a lot of people get these black and white instruction booklets. So maybe they were rentals and then photocopied. I don't know. But, uh, pick that up. Next, I picked up Troubleshooter 
for five dollars. It's got a, the same damage right there, but uh, it was five dollars, and it comes complete. And the cartridge is in great shape, and the manual's in good shape. So uh, pick that up as well. Uh, really, really good condition on the cartridge. I don't know that this game's ever been played. And, uh, so really happy to have that. Picked up Pebble Beach Golf Links. Uh, just a just need, just a golf game. I picked it up for three dollars. Uh, no manual, just the cartridge. But that's okay. It was three dollars. Uh, this one is actually kind of funny. Uh, the Bernstein Bears Camping Adventures. I don't know if anybody remembers reading the Bernstein Bears books when they were young. I remember these books all over the place when I was little. And uh, I'm actually pretty excited to play this game and see what all it's about. But uh, these books were all over the place in elementary school. I remember reading these all the time. And uh, really, really, really cool. No manual just the cartridge but this was only three dollars as well um picked up uh soul eagle or soul cease i actually don't know how to pronounce that Yeah, something like that. I actually don't know how to pronounce the game at all. I'm sorry. Uh, I've never seen this game before. It was five dollars, and uh, it looks it looks interesting. It looks like a side-scrolling shooter from the back. So uh, really good condition. The cartridge is in great shape. Uh, definitely what it is. It looks like a side-scrolling shooter. So uh, it should be pretty fun. I uh, look forward to playing that one. And then the last uh, Genesis game I got today, uh, I mentioned in the, my last, well, not my last video, but uh, last weekend's flea market, I picked up NBA Jam Tournament Edition for Super Nintendo. That gave me the regular NBA Jam and Tournament Edition. Uh, so today I picked up at G2K NBA Jam for Sega Genesis. This gives me the boxed copy of NBA Jam and NBA Jam Tournament Edition. For Sega, so uh, really cool to have uh, both editions now in box. The only thing about this one is I don't have an instruction booklet. It's only the game, but the game is in really good shape, and uh, the box is the main thing that I want. Uh, I'm sure down the road I can find the manual for this and complete that. So uh, that's all these I bought. Um, I think six dollars was the highest I paid for any of these, and that was just one game. Let's see. So uh, I'll just kind of hold these up and show you. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Genesis games, and uh, probably the, my favorite thing I picked up was the box uh, NES game, just because I'm really starting to enjoy finding these box NES games around. So uh, really, really cool. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this video short. Um, I actually don't even know how long I am into it. It might not be short at all. But in the next part of my uh, video, I'm going to show off some DVDs and PS3 games that I picked up this week. And uh, I've also got an Xbox game that I picked up. And I'm probably going to do something with that. So, uh... I'll, I'll let you know when uh, that video comes out. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't seen part one of my flea market pickup video, um, check it out. Uh, six uh, box Super Nintendo games and a couple loose games. And I uh, also have some shout outs in that video. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, keep your eye out for a 100 sub special video I'm going to try to put up Thursday. Uh, if not Thursday, I'll put it up Friday. So, uh, again, thanks a lot for helping me get to 100 and for watching and for all the support, guys. Uh, stick around for part three. It'll be out the day after I upload this video. And uh, that'll be PS3, DVDs, and uh, little, little.
little something extra. So uh, thanks a lot, guys, for the support, and take care.